Okay, so these are some nice simple jumps that you can do. So for starters, we're going to do a split jump. Um, we're going to do a straddle sit, a pike jump, wolf jump, straight jump, tuck jump, and a sheep jump. I think I got them all. So that's seven types of jumps that you can do. So um, for starting, we're going to be doing our split jump. Um, one technique that you can do to help with that is go down as far in the splits as you can. Point your toe, keep your legs nice and straight. Um, go down as far as you can. After all, you don't want to break your upper legs. <laughs> um, so I cannot go fully down, but I am really close. So now let's do those jumps. So we're going to start with the slip jump. Go down like this and as if you're about to do a back tuck. Split. Um, you can practice saluting the judges afterwards. I like to do that. So then we're going to do our wolf jump in the same position. Um, a wolf jump basically looks like this in the air. Um, you can do these jumps five times each. I'm just going to do two because I'm just demonstrating. Um, so the next one is a straddle sit. Um, for those who don't know what straddle sit is, it's basically just like this. That's the position you're going to be in in the air. And then slipped. Um, the next one is a um, tuck jump. It's basically like this in the air. Really try to drive your knees as high up to your chest as you can. So back tuck position and tuck. Um, the next one is a sheep jump. It's basically like a reverse um, tuck jump. And although instead of bringing your legs up like this behind you, you want to try to get like space. Just try not to get too much bend or bend your back too too much because that results in a deduction. So back tuck position. And there you go. So the next position. So the next jump is a pike jump. Basically like this in the end. Um I cannot do mine very high. Because, like I said, I am self-taught, but I have been practicing. You have a mini trampoline that does really help you practice, but we're really just going to practice on the floor for right now. So, most of these jumps, you're keeping your legs nice and straight, pointing your toes. Um, for the tuck and sheep, and the wolf, obviously. You actually want to bend your legs a little, but really still try to point your toes. So, for that uh, pike jump, this is another one of those ones where you keep your legs straight, point your toes. Um, and then the last jump is pretty straight forward. It's basically, it's called a straight jump. Basically, it's just keeping your, your body really, really straight while you're jumping, basically. So, um, yeah, there is another type of jump and slash leap, but it is really difficult. Um, I can't do it yet. It's called a ring jump or leap. Um, so, but that is for more advanced, so we're not going to get to that one yet. 
maybe in another one of my videos. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, if you please leave a comment. Please no mean comments. Because that can just make other people feel down. And everything. Um, hit, if, hit the bell. So that you'll know when I upload any other vi videos if you want to. Um, like this video if you liked the video. <laughs> Um, and if you feel like this is really going to help you, please subscribe. Um, so, yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed the first video of, gymnast with, of gymnastics with Alexis. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!